From the News 19 Weather Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Efren Afonte with the update on Hurricane Dorian. This is as of 8 a.m. this morning on Sunday. The National Hurricane Center has indicated that Hurricane Dorian is now a Category 5 hurricane. Sustained winds at this time is 160 miles an hour gusting to 185. Still moving to the west at 8 miles an hour, but as a Category 5 hurricane, 35 miles to the east of Abaco Island in the northern Bahamas. And you can see from satellite a very well pronounced eye and no doubt a very, very powerful and extremely dangerous hurricane is heading towards the Bahamas. The latest track from the National Hurricane Center will keep this as either a Category 5 or possibly down to a Category 4, but still winds estimated by later on this afternoon to this evening of 155 miles an hour. That's on the top end scale of a Category 4 hurricane. Still with 140 mile an hour speed winds as we go into Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning. But as we get into Monday night, Tuesday morning, that's where uh, both predictions from the National Hurricane Center and from other models will make an aggressive northerly turn. And as it does, it'll, it'll be considerably slower, but then it'll continue to accelerate along the coast of Florida, not making landfall by Wednesday morning as a Category 3 hurricane with 115 mile an hour sustained winds and continue a northerly track by sometime late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. It's Category 2 hurricane with 100 mile an hour sustained winds putting its position somewhere along the coastline of South Carolina and Georgia as it makes its aggressively northeasterly turn and they continue along the Carolina coastlines by Friday morning, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane somewhere in the outer banks with wind speeds in excess of 90 miles an hour. The spaghetti plots for the most part are still consistent in which at some point as it starts making its westerly, northwesterly turn before turning completely north, somewhere off the coast of east central Florida, most of the guidance models still keep it out in the Atlantic as it bends towards the northeast along the North and South Carolina coastline. Now keep in mind that the official track of the National Hurricane Center from Wednesday through Friday still keeps it off the coast, but because of the fact that we still have a lot of work to do to determine if it's going to make landfall, when it's going to make landfall, but what its position is going to be. The west side of the track still goes inland, well inland in Florida, Georgia, and especially in South Carolina into North Carolina, whereas the uncertainty on the east side still keeps it out in the Atlantic. Keep in mind that there's still a lot of uncertainty, but the bottom line is that sometime between Wednesday and Friday morning, that potentially Hurricane Dorian as a category three down to a two down to a one at least may have an impact along the coastline, especially for South Carolina. The spaghetti models for the most part are still keeping it off the coast until it gets somewhere close to Horry County and the Grand Strain, in which at that point, most of the models now are projected to go right along the lines of the outer banks but still a lot of uncertainty there. A few models do take it though as a landfall somewhere in Florida, possibly in Georgia or in South Carolina. So because the fact that there's still a lot of discretion of where these models will land, it does not mean that we will or we will not have a landfall sometime between Wednesday and Friday. That is yet to be determined. Now again, the intensity of this storm as it continues to move is something we're going to be watching because it is forecasted at this point to make a direct hit into the northern Bahamas sometime today as a Category 5 hurricane with winds expected to be between 150 and 160 miles an hour. Should that be the case, it may slow Dorian down just a little bit and weaken it just a little bit. But once it gets to the western portions of the Bahamas, as it heads towards Florida, it will again re-strengthen and that'll take it to its northerly turn. So this is going to be one major factor of what Dorian is going to do as far as the effects downstream heading towards Florida and the Georgia coastline. Now, as of right now, if you notice, there are no watches of any kind for tropical activity for the Mid-Atlantic all the way down the southeast for the Carolinas and Georgia. The only watches and warnings we have right now 
still contain a hurricane warning for most of the northern and eastern Bahamas and a hurricane watch for the western Bahama Islands. We now have a tropical uh, tropical storm warning from pretty much from central and southeastern Florida coastline with a tropical storm watch extended a little bit further south into the area around Fort Lauderdale. Again, the important message right now is that it is a category five hurricane with winds sustained at 160 miles an hour. There are still a lot of questions to be answered as the evolution of Dorian makes its way up the coastline in Florida, Georgia, and eventually us here in South Carolina starting by Tuesday afternoon. Another update will be made by the National Hurricane Center at 11 a.m. on Sunday, and we'll bring you the latest here on air and online at WLTX News 19.